So the other day I was musing on Twitter um, about my sort of bespoke priority domestic hot water setup um, that I've got on my Worcester Bosch um, Green Star boiler. Um, so when I had the boiler installed, um, it's a standard Y plan system. Um, got a mixer G tank there. Um, and the boiler was set to a 70 degree flow. And after a few months over the winter, I realized that's some massive bills. Um, so I looked into getting the priority domestic hot water configured on my boiler. Um, and I was told by one or two plumbers that I needed to get a diverter valve installed and it would require some replumbing, which would cost me probably three or 400 quid. Um, so at the time I was kind of vaguely aware um, of this digital interface unit um, that connects into the boiler's um, EMS bus and lets me see data about um, pump speeds, uh, flow temperatures, uh, power consumption, you know, etc. So it was um, kind of useful. Um, but I realized I might be able to use that to uh, adjust the flow temperature dynamically. So what I ended up doing was, um, of the wiring loom, um, I installed a Shelly i3, and that's basically connected into the call for hot water that comes from the, the mixergy tank, um, or the call for heating that comes from uh, the Tato boxes. So using that um, and Home Assistant, basically when this receives a, a call for hot water, um, it uses the EMS gateway box to tell the boiler to adjust its flow temperature up to 70. Um, I thought I was very clever, um, but I've since been informed that I can basically enable the hot water mode on the boiler with a simple 10K resistor. Um, so I'm going to give that a try now and uh, let's see what happens. I mean, on the boiler you can see um, that the, the, the hot water control is disabled. So I'm going to try this little trick um, and see if it works. Okay, so I've opened up the boiler. Um, so you can see it present into the yellow screw terminal. Uh, the call for heat, the call for hot water uh, go into the same terminal. And then over here, uh, there are the two red wires that go into my little EMS bus. And the hot water control, or the hot water thermostat, is this grey one. So I'm going to put the 10K resistor across that terminal. Okay, the resistor is in. I'm going to turn it all back on and see what happens. Okay. Boiler is powering up. Oh, I don't bloody believe it. <laughs> I don't bloody believe it. Mr. Burroughs, uh, um, I owe you a beer. Uh, that looks like now that I can set the temperature for the water. And I can set the temperature. Oh, this is amazing. Oh, that means I can get rid of that automation. Um, uh, so, I, well, I am flabbergasted. Um, brilliant. Okay, that's great. Um, hopefully this might be useful to other people.